I regret to state that I rise to oppose the introduction of the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill 2019. I am not defending triple talaq, but I am opposing the text and draft and thrust of this bill. This bill conflates civil law and criminal law by criminalizing the act of triple talaq, which is an irregular form of divorce already null and void in our country post the decision of the Supreme Court in Shaira Banu versus Union of India. If the purpose of the bill is to address the subsequent acts related to triple talaq, the question before us is simple. Is the action of abandoning or deserting a wife and family without responsibility the criminal act? Or is the form of desertion, namely doing it by uttering talaq? You have to give my details. No, sir. I have to give my reasons for opposing, sir. I am giving you three reasons for opposing the bill. So the question is, because, because, sir, abandoning or deserting wives and dependents is not unique to the Muslim community, why not make a law which universally criminalizes the abandonment of family and dependents yes. without taking responsibility? Instead of just focusing on one community. By faith. No, sir. Let me explain. Sir. Aap debate ho ja puri no, sir. It's not a debate. It's, it's the reasons for opposing interaction. I'm giving it to you, sir. By, fo by framing the law. Sir, under, sir, sir. Honorable Speaker, sir, you have witnessed many such debates. You have witnessed many such debates. Opposing introduction takes a few minutes, but not very many. Yes, yes. By framing a law cr specifically criminalizing only Muslim husbands for a void act, an act already declared void by the Supreme Court, like triple talaq, without having a universally applicable law for the act of desertion, the bill is a textbook example, as the law minister well knows, of what is called a class legislation, which is pointed at one community or class, and that violates Article 15 and 14 of the Constitution. That's my first objection. Second, the bill does nothing to improve the status of Muslim women who suffer from numerous other difficulties, including the right to unilateral divorce by their husbands, being coerced to engage in nikah halala and so on. Therefore, this bill cannot claim the benefit of the exception under Article 15.3 of special provisions. Instead of, instead of protecting Muslim women, all this bill does is it punishes Muslim men. NK Prem Chandan. So finally, Finally, the bill also doesn't have any procedural safeguards and can be easily misused, thereby violating a person's rights under Article 21. I would NK therefore ask that instead of introducing the bill, he is referred to a standing committee, Your Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. अगर आपको ये खबर अच्छी लगी, तो इस खबर को शेयर करें। इस खबर पर अपनी राय जरूर दें। ऑनलाइन न्यूज़ इंडिया की सभी खबरें अपने मोबाइल फोन पर सबसे पहले देखने के लिए चैनल को अभी सब्सक्राइब करें और घंटी जरूर दबाएं।